Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a side-scrolling platform game available on the Nintendo Switch. The aim of the game is to make your way through each level by solving puzzles and avoiding enemies and their traps. In this video, we will look at the game and the controls required to play it and any accessibility features that are available. In this video, we will be using the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons to play this game. However, with the help of adapters, such as the Titan 2, you can use a range of different controllers, including the Xbox Adaptive Controller. When you first turn on the game, you are asked to select which mode you want to play. The options are Funky Mode and Original Mode. This is where you decide how accessible you want the game to be. Original Mode plays the same as the original Wii U version of this game. Funky Mode is the more accessible of the two modes and might be helpful for some players. Items cost less in Funky's shop and some items are more effective. You can take up to five items into a level and set your items in the middle of a level. Any Kong letters you collect are saved when you finish a level, even if you don't collect them all. Once you have selected your mode, you cannot change this later on in the game. We will look at Funky Mode in a bit more detail later on in this video. You are then asked what control mode you want to play and whether you want to play single or two player. The control layout options are either default or alternate. In both options, most of the controls are mapped to multiple inputs. The default controls needed to play this game are left stick or D-pad to move and to swim, the A or the B button to jump, Pressing Y or X does corkscrew while you're swimming. Y and X also do ground pound and your roll attack. ZL or ZR do your pluck. They also do grab, throw, combine and dismount. Pressing L and R at the same time activates your Kong Pow. This turns enemies that you're near to into items. The Kong that you have as your companion will determine what the enemy turns into. Pressing plus or minus pauses the game. The alternate controls are pretty much the same, except that the ZR and ZL functions have been swapped with the Y and X functions. If you want to change your controller layout mid-game, you can press the plus or the minus button Select options by pressing A, go down to controls and select the controller you're using. You can then go back into your game with your new controller layout. At times during gameplay, you will need to be able to double tap buttons such as A or B. You will also need to be able to hold buttons such as ZL or ZR. There are some situations in the game where you need to be able to hold down ZL or ZR and then press A or B. An example of this would be when you're jumping between vines. You need to hold ZL or ZR to cling onto them and then press A or B to jump between them. In the world map, you don't need as many controls. You use the left stick or D-pad to run around. And then press A when you're on the level that you want to enter. So once you've pressed A to select the level you want, you have an option to either play level or go into your inventory. In your inventory, this is where you select items that you want to take into the level with you. If these items are available, it might make the level a little bit easier. You press A on the item you want to take in, and then you press Y once you're done. You can either play this game solo or in two-player co-op mode. In two-player mode, player one always plays as Donkey Kong. However, player two can play as Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, or Cranky Kong. These characters, have all of Donkey Kong's basic abilities, but they have some of their own extra abilities as well. In single player, you can only play as the other Kongs in hard mode. 
To unlock hard mode, you need to collect every Kong letter in every level of the game. If you select original mode, you can only play as Donkey Kong. Other characters can be found in barrels, which you can break and they become your companion. This gives you two extra hearts, giving you a total of four. You can also use the character's special abilities. If you choose to play this game in funky mode, you get a choice between playing as Funky Kong or Donkey Kong. If you choose to play as Donkey Kong in funky mode, you'll start off with an additional heart, so you'll have a total of three. If you then find a companion in a barrel, you'll get an additional three, giving you a total of six. You'll also be able to use the companion's special ability. The hearts in the top left-hand corner of the screen are your lives. The smaller hearts are your companion's lives. If your companion loses all his lives, he will disappear. Donkey Kong takes the same amount of damage and controls the same as he does in original mode. In Funky mode, you have the option to play as Funky Kong. This could be the most successful way to play the game. So when you play as Funky Kong, he starts off with five hearts. Funky Kong is able to breathe underwater. Funky Kong can constantly roll and corkscrew. If you play as Funky Kong, you will not have access to the other characters in barrels. You also cannot use the Kong Pow move. Funky Kong has got five hearts and will not take damage when you land on most spikes. However, enemies will still hurt you. Funky Kong can jump twice in mid-air, which means that you can jump higher. If you hold down the A or B button, you can also slow his fall. These options do make the game easier. However, there are some elements that might still be tricky. You need to have good timing with your button presses. You need to be able to double tap the A or the B button to make Funky double jump. You also need to be able to hold the A or the B button to make him fall slowly. You need to be able to hold down ZL or ZR to climb up or along vines, keep hold of barrels before throwing them, and to also pluck out objects from the ground. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about accessible gaming, please contact Special Effect.